Welcome back to another episode of I Forgot My Fucking Glasses. Holy shit. I knew something was fucking missing. Let's get them suckers on, shall we? That's much better. Oh, yeah. I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. I got it. Bring out the pipe sometimes, you know. I love to fucking sing and shit. That's me. God damn. Bad enough I got so much gas, I'd rather be a hot air balloon. All right. Let's get on with this. Got some wrestling news, but I'm going to do that last and just go, go straight to the ratings. Uh, NXT has definitely... Didn't win for a fourth straight week in a row. They won three straight weeks with the ratings war or competition, whatever you want to fucking call it, within with uh AEW. But AEW got the win. Let me break it down to you. NXT receives six hundred and thirty-one thousand, and AEW wins with their seven hundred and eighty thousand viewers. So congratulations to uh AEW, they finally got that win. And also, congratulations to NXT. They got they won three straight weeks in a row in a ratings war, which is pretty impressive. Not bad for a glorified bingo hall, right? Ah, oh, shit. So, yeah, um, let's get on with the news. Let's kick it off with Keith Lee. Let me, let me get this shit out the way, man. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. He's the, he's the first uh, NXT double champion ever in a promotion. NXT's been around for quite some time. And uh, that's good. I, I'm, I'm happy. I like Keith Lee myself. You know, I, I love, I admire his stamina as him being a big guy. He's like cruiserweight. Material, he fights like a cruiserweight and shit. Phenomenal entertainer in the ring. It's amazing that a guy his size can move the way he does. It's, it's something. It's like Bam Bam Bigelow all over again. Or Husky Harris, which is now The Fiend. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I know my little fucking trivia. Thank you very much. I'm not great at it, but I, I do know a little bit of wrestling history here and there. So, yeah. Now, as, now, despite the fact that I like Keith Lee, I, I like the fact he's a double champion. Uh, I like that, that they're pushing him and everything. But I couldn't help but fucking wonder with this Black Lives Matter shit going around with the George Floyd incident. You know, you got, you got fucking Hollywood saying Black Lives Matter. You got fucking WWE saying Black Lives Matter. Keith Lee spoke on, this, on, on the situation himself. Keith Lee, and um, it makes me wonder. I pray to God that I'm wrong. I do, but I could be right. Is it the, is that is that the reason why Keith Lee is the first multi champion? Is is that the reason why NXT is pushing him because of his skin color? Because they want to show that they care about fucking black people and shit. Which I've never believed the opposite. They're going to listen to the few fucking people that's going to bitch and moan about it. Oh, Mark Henry, he was champion, but he wasn't the Raw champion. The Raw champion is the real belt. Mark Henry is only SmackDown champion. That really don't count. That type of fucking shit. And then when you say, oh, The Rock, they pushed him to the high move. Everybody loves The Rock. He's black. No, he's not. The Rock ain't black. He's Samoan. That type of shit. Let me move on. Let me fucking move on. This is darkening my fucking mood. Stupid, retarded ass people in this world. I'm telling you. You, can never, you can't please everybody, WWE. You can't fucking please everybody. 
And no matter what you do, they're going to still see Vince McMahon as a fucking racist that puts down his black talent and shit. Even though in reality that we can plainly fucking see, even those of us who don't fucking follow wrestling like we used to, we can see that he puts everybody down. No matter what the fucking skin color is. Let me give you a hint. There's one talent that comes to mind. EC3. Look up what happened to him. Especially after he came from NXT to fucking Raw. Let's, let's move on to more wrestling news. Fuck this shit. God. Sonny Kiss versus Cody Rhodes. Now we have a lot of fucking homophobes or those who have a problem with a gay wrestler in the ring and shit. We, we are, they already have a, their first transgender wrestler, uh, Nyla Rose, if I'm saying the name correctly. They got a problem with her because she was born with a fucking dick, okay? Doesn't matter if she got amputated. It's the fact that she used to be a dude. So they got a problem with her. Instead of focusing on her talents and her persona and her character, they got to focus on what used to be between her legs. Sonny Kiss, instead of focusing on his talent and his charisma and his in-ring prowess and athleticism and shit and star power, instead of focusing on Sonny Kisses the, of those of that nature, they want to focus on who he choose to sleep with that night. What rocks his boat? What gets his fucking dick hard? They want to choose that. That he likes to take it up the fucking ass. They want to they want to focus on that instead of what they should be focusing on. So yes, yeah, Sunny Kiss is going for the belt. Cody Rhodes, I mean, going for I think he's going for a title or some shit. I didn't look that much into it. I just saw the headline, Sunny Kiss versus Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is a huge star in, in uh, AEW. And I'm happy that, Co that, that, that Sunny Kiss is going to go for it. I'm glad they pushing him to that point where he's actually going to the top. So, congratulations to Sunny Kiss. And speaking of Sunny Kiss, those who have a problem with it can kiss his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended, of course. So, um, I've been hearing this so much over the fucking years. It's, it's mind boggling. I have to fucking add this story. Raw scores lowest ever viewership. What do you want me to say about it? Hmm? What do you want me to say? They ain't finna shake things up. <laughs> so yeah, Raw scores his large viewership. I just thought I added in because I've been hearing that shit for, 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 for three years now. Three, two years, whatever the fuck, how long I used to watch, how, how long I've been following this shit. So, just thought I added in there for shits and giggles, I guess you can call it that. I don't know. Okay, the next piece of news, I believe is the last one. Let me see. Yeah, it is the last piece of news concerning Shayna Baszler, who made her return. Fans, people are saying that Vince McMahon is tired of her. He's not going to push her and all that shit. Fucking typical. <laughs> typical Vince McMahon. But yeah, so fans call Shayna Baszler ugly. The most unattractive woman on the roster. When I first saw Shayna Baszler, I didn't like her because she was ugly or she was unattractive and shit. What drew me to her was, was the fact that she was intimidating. She's the most intimidating woman on the roster, if you ask me. 
And I feel that she deserves a fucking huge push. She will make a great fucking heel if done right. She already a good one. I mean, to the point she will piss you off. Have a go against female wrestlers that the crowd loves and have a beat the living shit out of them. Get that heel heat and some shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. <laughs> I'm not for I'm not into Shad because of her looks and shit. You know, I don't give a shit if she's I, I I think the fact that she's the that she's not good looking is fucking great. <laughs> it's not about her looking good, uh, being eye candy, looking good in a fucking swimsuit, getting your dick hard, boys jacking off to her and shit in their adolescence. It's not about that's about her going to the ring kicking some fucking ass and entertaining you in the process. That's what I thought it should have been in the beginning with women wrestlers. Looks should be secondary. Okay, yes, Trish Stratus was fucking fine. Hot, mind you. But at the same time, she could fucking get down in the fucking ring. So Trish Stratus had two aspects. I liked her looks and I liked her in ring ability. She had both going on. But Shayna Baszler has taught me that not all women need to look fucking hot in order to be accepted. By me, at least. So, <laughs> Shayna Baines is the fucking beast. And I like her. She's, in fact, she's among my favorite female uh, talent in the world, if you ask me. She's up there. I tend to go for females that don't look hot. I do. Because, because, I, because I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to bust a nut. I'm trying to be entertained. <laughs> so... So yeah, um, if I if I want to if I want if I want to uh, satisfy my sexual needs, I can look at fucking porn. Okay, <laughs> I don't come. I don't watch wrestling to do that. I don't watch women's wrestling to do that. Rather. With that being said, this is Wild Chromosome signing out. Peace and love. Good health to you all, and be safe out there. And this was another episode. Of your weekly weekly report, can't fucking speak right. Of your weekly report of NXT versus AEW ratings, with wrestling news on top of it. <laughs>